Did you uh, note the pronunciation there, Jay? Rasmus. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Horgar. Yeah, we're going to skip the D. Sometimes we tend to anglicize things a little bit. There you can see huge support there for the Twins. And it is, as you said, Richard, no coincidence that Molinari is playing with these two talented youngsters. And from England, Richard Mansell. Ideal position to land it back there by the fringe and spin it back. And nicely done for Hoygar. Yeah, local favorite. Just keep it inside the hole on the left hand side. Keep it nice and firm. I think it'll disappear on him. You can hear the squeakies. You'll hear more of them, obviously, at 16. <laughs> Unless that's John Morgan squeezing one of the uh, one of the bears in the Birdies and Bears initiative they got this week, raising money for Kids Aid. A little delicate number up the slope here for Rasmus Hoygaard. Will move a little off his left when it gets near the hole. Bit of work left in this one, John, for Rasmus to save part. Yeah. Well, John might have some issues with his microphone. No issues for Rasmus Hoygaard. Good putt for Birdie at the first. Nice one to save par there. Height, yard is, is a must. Got an early. If anything, just well, the hint of just left of this pin would be handy. He's got 170 here, and he's playing probably a similar yard is there in nice and tight. You don't want him to be the old man out on a tight front left pin. He definitely throws out enough. He deserves some coming back. Speaking of coming back, that's a comeback birdie for Rasmus Hoygaard. to that swing and a good result as well. Great for the opportunity coming up. Seeing from uh, Rasmus Hoegaard. Very attractive hole, this one. You see the green way down in the distance and just unlimited beautiful fields beyond 513 yards. Well, luckily, John is right over there close by, but that is not a good spot two, at uh, all. Teddy. Well, not a bad lie here for Rasmus Oigard. I think he can get enough on it to carry the, the pond. That's oh, a good 50 yards short of this green. Oigard at the eighth. We saw the pitch from just short of the green of this position. Pretty much just straight uphill, not much break. His length off the tee, he'll be kicking himself. He doesn't pick up at least a four, and he does. Makes it the hard way, missed the fairway left, came up short and to the left of the green, but all in all. 148 yards from Rasmus Hoygaard. Richard Mansell way down there past him. This is just wedge in hand. 
Beautiful shot. Trees, little trees on the right hand side coming to play about 297 off this tee. Rough sat down a little bit, gonna have to gouge at this one. Big bunker shire, this green. Gotta get your number right. Oh, this is coming in with snow on it. Wow. I think that's the thing that impresses me most about the young players now. I get the fact that they can all hit at 330, 340, but being able to hoist it high and get it a long way out of the rough is so impressive. Hoygar for birdie at 14. Yeah, wow. Seven under par. Well, this is what the the locals want. You know, Heli Kilders, you know, going really well. Biergaard's up there. We've already had a good round from Norgard Muller. But, you know, in terms of Rasmus Hoygaard, he's probably one of the standout names as far as the youngsters are concerned. And he's now crept within one of the lead. John actually looks like a hybrid club. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with that swing. This awkward tee shot, I think that's probably a good club selection. It's a clever pin, this. Good job with that left hole location. And this distance you tend to want to open the club face a little bit and play a cut shot to control the distance but you can't because of the smoke another little draw in there these guys are really play two nice shots gonna be uproar if this one goes in the front door i can tell you that straight up the hill off the right only a little smidge be nice and firm with it Another Dane has moved within one of the lead. It's Rasmus Oigard. On the air caution, just go left of this pin. Oh, he's going right. Well, here you go. Oh, that's what you do. What do I know? It's no doubt going to be a very strong side in Italy next year, and Oigard ties the lead there at 17, gets eight under par. Said it, hit that low one, hit that stinger, keep it straight. That's all you need to do. Yeah, a beautiful little cut shot there for Rasmus Hoygaard. Looks like he'll draw most of the day, but when his cut is called for, he has that ability as well. Well, a couple of Danes in a six-way share of the lead. Rasmus Hoygaard, a bogey-free, eight under par round of 63. Playing alongside the Ryder Cup vice-captain, Eduardo Molinari. Very, very impressive young man. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.